Hey, good morning. Good morning, people of God. Good morning. Good morning. Today, I come in the presence of everyone to encourage somebody today. The Word of God is all we need. And we do really need the Word of God in our lives, in our jobs, at school, in our marriages, at home, between our brothers and sisters, wherever we are, we need the Word of God. And He says this blessed day, beloved. He says, Whosoever shall call on His name, call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. Yes, whosoever, it doesn't matter. Who is, it? Who is it? It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter. The Lord just says, Whosoever shall call on in the name of the Lord Almighty shall be saved. Beloved, don't let sickness, don't let troubles, don't let worries in that house. Trade your safety, trade your, your happiness. God is about to save you. He is about to take you away from a situation that man cannot take you out of it. That is why our Lord says, Whosoever shall call on his name, you shall be saved. Jehovah God is here. He is always by us. He knows everything we are going through. But he is telling us to stop listening to the words of the enemy. He is telling us to stop listening to the, the temptation of this evil world. He is asking us today to call on him. He wants us to call on him today at every moment this hour. Drop that situation you are going through down. Drop that pain of the past that has hovered you down. Whatever medical report that is giving you that headache, soaking your bed with tears, Please, beloved, Romans chapter 10 verse 13 is for you. Call on the Lord your God. Go on your knees and ask Him. Ask Him for salvation. Ask Him to redeem you. Ask Him to set you free. Ask Him to take away every burden that is upon your life. Because God is able. He is ready. He has said it today. And I believe in me that He is going to do it for you. I come this hour again. To talk to our fellow Christians who have been believers for so many years. All of us still need to call the name of God Almighty. All of us still need to go on our knees and keep on telling him, God save me. Save me from that situation. Save me from this temptation. Save me from this that I cannot save myself from. Father, take me away from this torture. Take me away from this hardship. Some of us face hardship. We face difficulties. We face so many things. Yes, we need God to take us away from it. I come this moment to encourage somebody. I don't know what your troubles are. You might be going through a situation that you cannot handle. You might be going through divorce. You might be going through pain. You might be going through rejection. You might be going through torture. Be it physically, be it psychologically, be it mentally, in any way, in your academics, you might be down. But I still tell you, beloved, your God is never down. God Almighty is never down. He is never low. He has the final say to your life. He has the final say to that situation. Call on Him. My message for you today is to call on God Almighty. For He has promised safety for us. He has promised to redeem us. He has promised to set us free. He has promised to turn around that situation for our good. Now we need to do it. We need to do it and give him the opportunity to walk into our lives and turn our stories around. We need to call on God. Give him that opportunity to walk in the life of our children and change their story. To walk in the life of our job. The life that we are living. The career we are facing. Oh my gosh, we need to give God Almighty that opportunity to set us free. Spiritual chain, physical chain, whatever it is that you are being tied up, 
today this Sunday people of God I come with this message call on God Almighty so you can be saved so you can be set free so you can enjoy what God has for you you can enjoy the freedom the liberty the peace the happiness everything that God has for you he is ready to give it to you but he wants you to call on him he wants you to tell him God I need you he wants you to talk to him this moment he wants you to go on your knees he wants you to speak to him and tell him father I need you father I need you father I need you it is time for you to call on God are you ready to call on God Almighty are you ready to talk to him this hour are you ready to take away all the burdens of your life and drop it in his pulpit? Are you ready to take away everything this life is bringing into you and drop it in the house of God Almighty? Yes. He says yes. Call on him. Call in the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. God will save you from that temptation. He will save you from that limitation. He is ready and able to take you from that position to another one. But beloved, one condition, we have to call on him. We have to call on God Almighty. We have to call on him in order for us to be saved. Curses don't sleep. Satan does not sleep. Him and his agents don't sleep. They do every night and day, hunting for you down. But this moment, God is repeating and reminding us that we should call on him. Call on God Almighty so that he can save us God is about to break your miracle open he is about to turn your life around don't look at that brother that sister that family even that father or that mother believing they will change your life no God says he is the Alpha and the Omega he is the beginning and the end he made you in his own image he has all the spare parts for your body i don't know what you are going through some of us says cancer deadly hiv deadly but people of god god did not say in this uh, in this particular romans 10 verse 13 he did not say only those who are not sick of cancer he did not say only those who are not sick of hiv he did not say only those who are jobless no he said if anyone should call on him he will answer us get up from your seat don't let depression kill you down don't let the traps of the enemy fake power hold you down you have a tongue you have air you have voice call on god almighty so you can be saved i still repeat again today this sunday beloved call on god almighty and you shall be saved he will save you from that situation that man cannot save you he will save you from that torment that man cannot save you he will save you from that pit that man has designed that all these gods that have no ears no eyes all those occultic powers god will lift you up from that pit and give you a new life God will lift you up from that position that man has rejected you and give you a position of honor. He will give you a position that you will know that you are a child of God. But he says on one condition, call on God Almighty so that you shall be saved. Call on God Almighty so that him, his name Yahweh will rule in your life. Call on God Almighty so that whatever devil whatever evil doers whatever all those such sayers whatever anyone on earth that is evil in your life has been manifesting god will take it out remember beloved there is no power on this earth and in heaven that can stand the name of jesus because at the mention of that name every knee every knee will bow and every tongue will confess Right now, I talk on you people of God. Call on God Almighty so that you shall be saved from that burden, from that temptation, from that thing that stole your joy, from that peace, that, that peace, that peace that has never reigned in your home. Are you suffering from serious manipulations? You hate your brother, you hate your sister, you guys don't communicate, you don't talk, you guys have been enemies for so many years. This all is giving glory to demon, it's giving glory to Satan, it's giving glory to the evil one, it's telling the evil one that he reigns. But this moment, believe with me, reason with me, share with me, 
chat with me talk with me and agree with me that we together we can stand and call on God Almighty for our salvation we can stand and call on God Almighty for a final word in our lives we can stand and call on God Almighty for his words to rule us because he is God thank you so much my beloved daughter Jacinta the daughter of the most highest the Zion daughter of God Almighty yes finally finally the word of God has come to pass and it is time for us to go on air and talk to God and talk about God to our beloved brothers if you are blessed by my message people of God share my message teach somebody sitting somewhere someone who thinks that his life is about to end who thinks that her life is full of rejection that no 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 there is still something there is still Romans chapter 10 verse 13 to call on God I keep on calling on God with you all and I will keep on doing it for God has called us to do his job may God mighty bless you this day and I wait to share your testimony with you in Jesus mighty name God bless you.